This is a lesson on using estimation to check answers. Um, it is lesson seven of unit two, whole numbers. And so um, what we're going to be focusing on is um, adding or subtracting to find actual answers and then using estimation to, um, to figure out if our answer is reasonable. Okay, so um, basically if your estimation is completely different from your answer, then one of those things is wrong and then you need to figure it out uh, what you did and then fix it. Okay, so um, that's a strategy to use to make sure that you've got the right answers other than just looking at an answer key. Um, so we've got a problem here. It says a pedometer records the number of steps you take. So it's, you know, like one of those watches that you have, only it just records the number of steps, not all of your stuff. Anyways, um, so Emma wore a pedometer for two hours. She recorded the number of steps each hour the first hour, Emma took 1,347 steps. The second hour, she took 948 steps. Uh, Fitbit, that's the word I was looking for. Anyways, <laughs> um, in which hour did Emma take more steps? So this is just a number set. So we're just looking at uh, which number is bigger in this case. So which hour did she take more steps? Well, is 948 larger or is 1,347 larger? Well, 1,347 is larger, so that means the first hour. So we can answer in the form of a sentence. Emma took more steps in the first hour. Okay, next up. Um, how many more steps did Emma actually take? Find the exact answer. So pause the video, figure out the exact answer, and then play again, watch it along with me. Okay, so you should have the answer for this, and what we're doing is we're subtracting 1,347 minus 948. Now we need to subtract, um, and then we're going to have to do a lot of borrowing. So uh, this is going to turn into 17, this is going to turn into a 3, but then it needs to turn into 13 because 4 is bigger. Then this turns into a 2, and then this turns into a 0, and there's a 12. So we've got 17 minus 8 to begin with, which is 9. We've got 13 minus 4, which is 9. And we've got 12 minus 9, which is 3. So um, our answer is Emma took 399 more steps. Next, we're going to estimate to, um, how many more steps Emma took. There should be a period right there. Um, I'm going to, oh, 399. Okay, so our answer is 399. I'm just going to have to remember that because I have to erase the ink here. 399. Whoop. That didn't work out. Okay, estimate how many more steps Emma took. So now we need to round. I guess we could just go here. Okay. Write this down. Uh, estimates all round to the nearest hundred. Um, so this is 1300 minus uh, 900. So I just count up from 9 to 13. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 400. Okay, look how close 400 is to 399. So uh, to clear the ink again here. Compare the estimate with the exact number. Is your exact answer reasonable? Yes. I know because 400 and 399 are very close. And that's basically what you're doing is you're finding real answers and estimates and seeing if the answers are close. Now keep in mind if you round to the nearest thousand, um, your estimate might be really off. So try to estimate to either the near, usually the nearest hundred, sometimes to the nearest ten, depending on the problem. Okay. <clears throat> so at the very bottom of the page it says, when solving math problems, a strategy to ensure that you have solved correctly is to use estimation to check to see if your answer is reasonable. That is, does the answer that you got make sense? Okay, so it's a way of just doing sort of mental math, just to think, uh, I got this answer, but I'm not quite sure if that's right. I'll just estimate, oh yeah, it's close. So it must be at least 
close to right, right? Okay, um, <clears throat> so this one we're going to solve and then we're going to do estimating. So we've got uh, a problem. The students at Glenville Public School are raising money to build wells in Africa. The grade 5 class raised $3,432. The grade 6 class raised $2,180. So um, you're going to do this on your own by pausing the video, but the questions are how much did the two classes raise together? So you are adding because it's together, okay? And then, which class raised more money? How much more money did it raise? You're subtracting. So remember, you're finding the full answer and then estimating to make sure that the answer is correct. So pause the video now and then we'll do it together after. Okay, so you should be finished. And, um, okay, so how much did the classes raise together? We just have to add the two numbers. And that's a zero, not a six. <clears throat> so two plus zero is two. Eight plus three is eleven. Four, five, six, and five. Um, now we're going to estimate to make sure that this answer is reasonable. So we'll round to the nearest hundreds place, um, and we'll just do it right this side. So uh, this one rounds to thirty-four hundred because the three is lower than uh, five, and then um, this one is going to round to twenty-two hundred. The 8 bumps the 1 up to a 2. We're going to add them together again. And it's only 12 different. So that, my, that means that my answer is reasonable. Uh, the two classes answer in the form of a sentence since it's a problem. Raised $5,612 all together. Okay, so that's the adding one, and let's do the subtracting one next. Oh, try that again. Which class raised more money? How much more money? Oh, did it raise? Uh, 3, 4, 3, 2, 2, 1, 8, 0. Two one eight zero. Let's make sure that's right. Oh, I guess I could have written that down. Three, four, three, two, two, one, eight, zero. Okay, there's no strategy. So we are subtracting. So remember we have to borrow and we're also making sure that the top, the larger number is on the top. You cannot take the smaller number or the larger number away from the smaller number. Um, okay, so uh, we've got two here and then so three subtract eight can't do that. We need to borrow. So this turns into 13. The 4 turns into a 3. Okay, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, that's 5. And then 3 minus 1 is 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay, so we've got this. Now, what class was it that raised the more money? It was the grade 5 class. Okay, so uh, the grade, whoops, grade 5 class raised $1,252 more dollars. And just to make sure that we uh, are close to the answer, we're going to estimate. So uh, we'll round to the nearest hundred again. So we've got 3400 minus 2200. That leaves us with $1,200, that's pretty close. We've only got 52 more. So that means that my answer is reasonable. Okay, um, your assignment is on page uh, 62 and it's numbers one to, eight, one to six and eight.